Hello everyone, welcome back to Trev Dog Gaming here on YouTube. We are in the game Subsistence, and this is now episode 65. Early in the morning, as the wind turbines are slightly turning. Um, this area out the side here, uh, seriously thinking about now putting a little bit of an extension. Um, the veggie patches are sort of over near the fridge, I guess over that side, but... Hello? Um, that was just the mining drill, dropping some produce. Um, yeah, uh, over this side though, this is where I've got the distiller, and I threw six potatoes and a bottle of water in there. It's almost finished making, so six potatoes per Molotov type alcohol piece. Actually, hang on a second. So I make them right, and then over here in the workbench, if we go down... Oh, I see, that's why they're so expensive. So you need two of those, one cloth and four fragments. Then it still costs you 180... Oh, wow, not sure if you heard that, but that seemed like the first one going through. Um, 40 mass and 180 power, so yeah, they're not the cheapest things to make, hey, wow. Alright, that's still going. Um, yeah, so, this is, this is my question. Um, I was seriously thinking, putting a door here, um, putting a door through there, and then stepping out and going down to a platform that perhaps leads to a gazebo eventually, but the main reason is that I want to put a couple of um, plant beds that ha have potatoes in them. So they're directly related to this thing. I mean, I can still put... I mean, one of these over here, I think it's the one in front of me, the furthest away, is currently potatoes. Um, but, you know, I've got to have some potatoes for food and, and recipes and whatnot, but... And that's what made me start to think, how about if I just put something that's dedicated out this side that's close to the distiller where I can just grow my, my potatoes. Even if they're out in the open at the moment, you, you know, it's not a big deal. Um, I kind of want to put them on this side. I'm not sure if you can... S no, you can't really. Well, hang on, anyway. I, I think that's the best thing to do. So, first up, I started making a few things, and I'll show you in a sec downstairs, but... I mean, duh, I need a doorway, so that's first. I need a door, so that's number two. So this guy, um, we'll just move it to the side just for a sec. Uh, let's just put it here for a tick. I... Oh, actually, should it be here above this or not? Actually, maybe it shouldn't be. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> Let me just change my mind. Let's put this back over here. Whoops. Come on. You can do it. And then put the doorway here, on this side. <coughs> and there's a reason for my madness. I, I have a feeling that it would be better to have a ceiling. Yeah, let's make a wood ceiling. I don't have a massive number of planks. There's more in the cupboard, but anyway. Um, I think it would be best to have a little ceiling piece first. Um, that way you can stand out and have a look around from here as well. So we'll put that down. So that can go there and be rotated. Right, okay, so you come out. Then there needs to be another set of stairs going down. So, I'll show you. This is what I made... This is what I made earlier. So, just these guys. Um, just let me grab all of these. Actually, I wonder if it's easier. It could be easier from down here, actually. Or maybe not. I don't know. Um, yeah. So, the, the idea was, grab a set of stairs. Uh, rotate them that way. So they should connect to here. Am I going to fall off the edge here? Maybe. 
so as they start to come down, then the next set of stairs. Which way are we going? Th th that way. I'm going to go into the water anyway, I think. Like that. <laughs> okay. Oh! Um, sorry, that was just the water suction. I think. E um. Hmm. Yeah, okay, so I really need... I need the foundation to go at the end of here, right? If I can see what I'm doing. Like that, right? Um... How many... I've got two more foundations. Just not gonna cut it, Drew. Oh, okay, one, one more foundation. Is that right? I think that's right. So if I make one more... And then I take the... This is going to be interesting. Let's just fall off of here. Actually, which way would this be best? This is just for me to get in now the water, right? Should I come in on the... F is that a lock chest? Hang on, I have to go check on that. How... No, we can't put it on this side, because that's how we're getting onto here, so... How about if we just sneak around this side, and put the platform just there? That's it. Can I get up again? Get it out of the water! Oh, I almost did it! Too heavy! Jeez. Alright. So, if we just grab... I want to go grab that box, so... Alright, so one more... Hang on, how come that one's the wrong way around? Anyway, I'll be back. No pearls under here? No, just a bunch of floating foundations? No, it's a normal construction crate, I think, with a chicken guarding it. You're gonna get spooked in a sec if you come too much closer, you know that. See, this is what I did once before. There was a white wolf around here just before. Um, yeah, I went for the crate after shooting the chicken, and then before I could get to the chicken, the bird damn bird! came down and scooped him up. Alright, so that's kind of what I'm thinking. So you can come down to that last platform from upstairs, or you can just come out from the bottom, okay. And then from I'm just thinking, if there was hunters around here, or rogues, or whatever, this is a, a reasonable distance to have to go out here, so that I don't, I don't think this really requires a great deal of security, but who knows, I, you know, until you actually encounter them and see how the AI works, they might not deem this as a very likely target. Anyway, um, let's just put our door on here as well. Okay, so you come out, go down, then the question is, where will the potatoes be? I guess there's enough room here just to put the potatoes. Potatoes. Yeah, I suppose so. Is it, if you put them, maybe just put them along this edge here. I still, still think it's, it's... Oh, look, I can move them later if they get damaged, I suppose. Alright, um... Okie dokie. i tell you what I do need to do is to check my food. I'm kind of... And the fire. I'm neglecting everything. Sorry, darling. We'll have to use you for produce. Sorry. Alright, I think at the moment one water's probably enough. So we'll do that. Let's eat that and that. And we'll eat a potato, I suppose. Um, maybe one of them. Got to remember, I've got the chicken in there. It's not going to take very long to cook, so don't burn it. Uh, not that it's the end of the world, but still a piece of chicken. 
Oh, I did notice the other day too, if you catch little fish, I just throw them in the cupboard now. I either harvest them for oil, but I've gotten like 97, but if I throw them in the cupboard here, they just go to spoiled meat. Oops, I can't eat it. Really? I just drank water. How quickly does he go down in his water? It's like, wow. Anyway. Um... Okay, so I guess we need to make a cup... Oh, I looked at it before, I'd forgotten. For crying out loud, <laughs> like, oh, God, I've struggled so hard to get all the way back up to 14 scrap, and guess what? Every time you build a garden or a plant bed, it's 6 scrap. I'm going to be back to 2 if I build a couple. Alright, we've got 100 mass, so let's just make one. And I'm going to put the jennies on. One, two, three, and the fabricator. Um, I've still got a reasonable amount of biofuel. Look at that. Man, man, man. 683, 500 leaves for crying out loud. <coughs> That's still gone. Uh, we, yeah, we're definitely doing alright on our fragments at the moment. You know, what's that? 300 and, well, apart from the 218 that I always leave for, um, lock, making lockpicks. 392 iron fragments, 384 copper, and 385 zinc. And quite a lot of the other stuff. So I've got a fair few crystals too, which is good now. Um, little rabbit. Trying to make out you're staying still like a rock. Um, yeah, these guys doing all right. Getting a little bit more iron. I think it's day 270. I think at the moment, something like that. Ah, uh, doesn't matter if we run a little bit more in there. Um, okay, so the first plant bed is done. Dunsky, there you go. And the second one, we just have to wait for the mass to get up. Oh, we need more timber planks. I'll make them now myself. Uh, make six. Um, I think there was maybe 90 in the cupboard still. There was quite a few. Yeah, there's 90 down the bottom here. So there's still, yeah. Still got a fair few resources and whatnot. Um, I try to make them as I go along if I can. Alright, so we were saying, wanted to make sure that, I was just trying to do this and, and thinking, you know, if if I just left it so that, oh, hang on, BCU range. Damn it! You've got to be kidding me. I can put it inside the house. Jeez, <laughs> another thing I have to do. Hang on. Oh my goodness, BCU range extender. Uh... Hang on, where did I put one? One's over there above the fireplace. One's above the door. One, two. Did I put one at the back? That's a light. I think I need to put one over here. Probably on the inside, I suppose. A bit safer. Only problem is, how much does that cost? Please not be scrapped. Please not be scrapped. Ah, crap. Ah, oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> it's more scrap. Um... <laughs> Alright, so it's an ingot and a circuit board. Ingots are fine. Did I have spare circuit boards? No, I didn't. I can make one, though. What is it? Four copper? Oh, that'll chew through a little bit of mass. It's only fifteen. Yeah, for the once, for once in a long time, the electrical components are way up, so that's not really a problem. What, did I say two ingots? Yeah, two ingots. See, mm. oh my goodness, everything is so expensive these days. Um, hmm. what was it for mass to make one? BCU eighty. Oh, really? Okay, oh man. Uh, mm. So 
I get to 80, then I drop that down, then I go back to make that I need 100. Okay, alright, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna save the game, I'm gonna go out, um, yeah, I know I've got my plant bed on me, on, off, oh, I can see scrap from here, hang on, just make sure there's no, there's a killer rabbit to watch out for, and another construction box, which is going to be scrap in here, apparently. So the memo said, Scrap! Ow! Oh, I just replaced my electrical component. Oh, at least I got one. Oh, hang on, there's more. <gasps> there's more! I didn't read that part of the memo. Now, where's this... Where's... Where's the white dog? There's one way up there. I th oh, it could be the one that was around here before. I'll go out for a little bit. I just wanted to... Well, I need 13 scrap. I've got 10. 14 would be better. But... I need another... F I need 5 to make the BCU range extender. I need another 8 for a second plant bed. Um, and, you know, another one would be good as a place marker in my inventory. Ah, uh, dear, oh dear. Um, oh, there's another crate. Get the timber while I'm doing this. I don't know whether the game reads at all what you've currently got and says, oh, he's low in this. And he's out striving for it. Well, it didn't in that case because it gave me no scrap <laughs> whatsoever. Apparently, it's urgent to get a blueberry. I shouldn't complain, it's at least some food. And don't forget, I'm not complaining that much. I've still got 200 in, uh, scrap in the cupboard. I just didn't want to touch the stack because I'm wanting to use that to reinforce the base with alloy sheets. Make more alloy sheets. I think it's two scrap per alloy sheet, so it's not cheap. Some more fibre. Is that a deer down there? Now that... no way, she must have spawned in. There's no way she could have snuck around the side there, surely. Well, you know what? I'm not in a real hurry to get deer at the moment, so she's kind of safe, I think. Come on, game. Be good to me. Throw up a few more... scrap. Where did the, um... Where did the white wolf go? It is so hard to see the white wolves. I'm just I'm looking for their name tags more than anything. Oh, there she is. He is. It is. Off to my right. See, when they stop moving, it is so hard to see them. They just blend into that background there. Can you see that? Like, it's just... Oh, my goodness. I think that was the one that was up here. If it's not, we'll hear a growl in a sec. So, apart from the ones that sit on the ground, I'm really just looking for a few more crates that might have scrap in them. I won't go past the rose hips. If they're around, I'll get them. Alrighty. I tell you what. Subsistence really is a real survival type game because you're always striving to get stuff. I take it you kind of can't really go up and explore the mountains in the winter. As soon as it gets down to minus eight, I'm like, I can't survive. I mean, it's a gradual decline in your health kind of thing, not a massive thing like you die straight away or anything, but. You can't just stay up there when it's that cold. Ah, well, it's a good thing, but <coughs> oh, hang on, 
Oh, I've got heaps and heaps of space. Not a problem, look at that. Oh, scrap! Give me scrap! Three scrap! Got a bunch of other stuff as well, but I've got three scrap! Oh, look at that. Okay. Now I'm at 16. I'm happy. See you later, everyone! Yeah, no, okay. I'll make my way back. Get a little bit more timber. 118? Actually, I probably should make a few more of those. At least I've got... yeah, okay. Oh, gee, how many... how many lockpicks have I made and used? Quite a few, I'm sure. I think I looked up my profile stacks a while back, and I think they... I think they refer to them as specialty crates. Um... Yeah, I think that's what they call the lock crates, specialty crates. Um, I think I was on 664. I'm probably, I don't know, maybe I've grabbed a half a dozen since then, so... I reckon it's something like 70 crates, locked crates, I've actually opened. And that's a lot of kit when you think how much loot you get from them. Where would you... I mean, I don't think I've ever picked up gears from anything but the locked crates. So if they weren't there, I wouldn't have as many as I've got now. <coughs> Oh, he's growling at me. It's not me, look. It's the tree that's making all that noise, dude. As long as he's not coming towards me. He'll be fine. Alright, well... There's a rabbit. Oh. Oh, there's the deer. Oh dear. It came closer to me... There you go, ran all the way down there somewhere. Like I said, not that I'm so fussed about that. Alright, well, we will go home. Oh man, I, yeah, it's, it's you struggle to get the timber back up again. I'm probably going to annoy the deer wherever it's gone. Oh, there's scrap down here! Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you! Alright. Oh, the crates have dropped down here, have they? I wonder where the deer went. I'm still went back over the other side. Alright. So... We can make the BCU range extender. So let's do that first. Then this guy... Oh, actually, I can almost make another two. I don't really need that many. Just a couple of plant beds that are just going to be for potatoes will be fine. Okay. I'll put this on the wall. So we'll swap these out. Actually, I can drop off all this loot too. would be a good thing. So you have a look at how many gears I've got. There's 31, now 34. And I'm pretty certain I have never you know, ha obtain them from anywhere else but the lock crates, the specialty crates. Uh, maybe I should throw these in the fridge, these rose hips. That's 24 already. Man, that didn't take long. Alright. <coughs> well, that dropped down a bit. Nine in each. See, I never have to make this stuff. Hey, I just keep finding it all the time, this medicinal tonic. Alright, so we'll drop off that. We can drop that in there, that's not a big deal. Um, okay, so the range extender, I think maybe we just put it here. <sighs> if I can get it to just turn blue! What, am I still out of the range? Really? I could put it. Excuse me, door in the corner here, maybe? that That's just as good, surely. Just put it there. Okay. Alright, let's grab our plant bed. Yay! Oh, the only place we can't put it is right out there on the edge, which isn't a big deal. We'll just turn around and put it here somewhere. There you go. And then we'll just put a second one beside it. So, uh, 
Yeah, give you a lot, do they? Oh, hang on. Ah, uh, no, that doesn't need an upgrade, does it? Because we're not putting go lights in at the moment. Yeah, that's far enough out in the, into the wild. See, this is the catch too. So say, okay, so say I've got two garden plant beds here, and they house potatoes. Probably out here, maybe. If I stretch this out a bit further, I can then just make a gazebo area. That would be cool. And if I wanted to put the ATV base here somewhere, I've still got heaps of room to put it. It may not like going on the water, or maybe it's okay as long as you've got wooden foundations. <gasps> I just don't know yet. Alright. Um, potato seeds. I think I've got one. So that's not going to work. I've got one. Okay. What are you guys doing? Hang on. I have a feeling that these guys are well overdue for some fertilising. The cotton's ready to pick. Uh, they weren't that bad. Alright, that's chockers. That one's chockers. Oh, I run out already. Man, I go through a lot of fertilizer. Alright, and the last one. I mean I love the idea that this is so easy to do. I can just sit in the in the water here. Cool. Okay, um the only way this is gonna work is if I grab potatoes out, so um I'm going to need... let's just... Mm, extract five, extract three... at least I can plant the first one. That's just fibre, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Um, so they're all planted, so water and fertiliser, okay. Uh, I was just kind of wondering if you could just leave the the plant bed, like I, I, not, I think I'm pretty certain they do still work. Um, the only problem is they'll be a lot slower to grow. So yeah, maybe not initially. Maybe like I'm doing at the moment, I just feed all these. Yeah, that's not too bad. I'm, I'm probably going to have to put a chest out here somewhere too that I can just. Do the same thing, have a bit of fertilizer and, and water in there. Okay, so that can go back. There's the three water. Just make sure you don't drink it, Trev. What's my mass like at the moment? Oh man. Turn off! Um Okay. I think I'm okay if I turn these off. I think I can just go out now and make the last plant bed. How's that? Ta da! Look at my scrap level! <laughs> it's going down and down and down. Look, um, off camera, after this episode, I'll go out and grind for some more wood and make a few more planks. But. So, the, the two things we have to do before it gets too dark. It's almost too dark already, Trevor. In fact, you probably do need to put a light on. Okay, uh, another eight was it? So extract five, extract three. Let's go out here before it's too dark to see. Put down our second bed. Maybe somewhere kind of like there. And then we have to do the same again. Getting way too dark. I need another light out the other side now. I mean, that's going to be another um, episode, isn't it? Really. Uh, let's take a lot. Make sure we've got enough. Yes, we. Uh... Well, the moon's out, I suppose. Okay, we'll just dump all that in there. Is that enough? Oh, pretty, pretty much. I'll also just fill these up here, making sure we don't drink it accidentally. Okay. Well, that's all done. How's that? I know I needed to kind of do that. Um, put 
wait the bio fuel. So yeah, um, if we go up on top, you know, we kind of get a bit of light from everywhere else, don't we? I love how that light shines down there, it's pretty cool. We need another light over here now, as well. So that's kind of what we did today, basically just extended this, made another way down. So we should be able to run down there, get our um, potatoes, and then basically bring them up to here and put them in our distiller. Well, there's one alcohol made, but it's all in an effort to try to make as many molotovs as we can, so when the hunters are enabled and we have to go calling on them, um, we've got some way of being able to demolish doors and do some damage, I guess. Alright, well I guess... oh my goodness. Yeah, see, that's where... Oh, that's where I wanted to use the fuel bricks more. When it gets down really low, why, why not, you know? Anyway, everyone, um, I'm going to have to leave the episode here. I hope you've liked what we've done today, and if you want to help and support the channel, then it's very much appreciated if you can smash the like button, and even more so if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Um, it'll make a huge difference to the growth of the channel, and you'll be notified when more videos pop up. Alright, everyone, thanks so much. Cheers.